I had seen somebody had one the year before. It was our second year at Heroes Con, and I came down to that same person. I, I wrote it down, and I came back next year, and I asked that person, and I can't remember the kid's name. He's always here with his dad. They're from Carolina somewhere, aren't they? His dad has the handlebar mustache. Jeff. Yeah, is it Jeff? A real nice kid. Southern, deep Southern accent. Mm -hmm. They don't have a lot of Golden Age books, but whoever he was partnered with that year. Right. Yeah, Georgia. They're from Georgia. That's right. And I went back to the next year. I said, hey, your buddy had a Detective one, a Detective 31. I said, I really, I got to have the book. He's like, he sold it. Like, oh. He said, but I think I know somebody that has one. He took me to somebody I'd never seen. It. I thought he was a private collector just set up. He didn't even have it up on his wall. He had it underneath the table. David Burns. Pulled, is right. that who? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah he's pulled, a dealer. He's, he's a, dealer. a local okay. guy. He didn't have it up. I mean, he had it under the table when he pulled it up. he just got it from the guy that got it from me. Did he, he really? let it go. Wow. He, he, he wasn't real happy. I don't know if him or his wife was less happy about him selling the book. Because he was, I mean. My I wife was seldom detective 31. <laughs> <laughs> but she wished I had waited 10 years was, later to sell most of mine. Neither yeah. one were excited about selling that book. I'm like, oh, okay. I mean, I, she I, if you don't want to sell it, it's okay. But <laughs> so I, I was excited. You won't be it. happy when you sell your. It's never going to be sold. My, kid will, sell it. My kid will trade it for a PlayStation game because he doesn't give a darn about comic books. <laughs> so it's okay. It's all right. So, yeah. My first one was, what do you get first, honey? Uh, all Winners One. Really? Terrible copy of All Winners One. It's, that's the only book because there was a, wasn't there a price guide in the late 80s, early 90s that had that as the, the cover on it? And that, that, to me, that was the ultimate timely. I had to have a timely. I couldn't, I had never seen one even as a kid. So when I was a kid, all I did was buy a bunch of stupid silver age stuff for ten and twenty bucks. My first X Men was fifteen bucks at the local store, you know. So I uh, bought all those that I could buy. And then I finally found a, a timely when I was you know, when I was in the military. I actually had a few bucks. Got me an all winners one. Still have it. Great book. Wow. Yeah. Great Terrible book. copy, but still have it. Wow. <laughs> it's next to impossible to find original owner timely collections in North Carolina. I don't know because you're from Kentucky, Kentucky, right? Yes. Yeah. Girl, yeah. And I know it's but, it's different in Houston. I, I don't timely's came to Houston, but they didn't come to North Carolina. We didn't, I, I, I've never bought an original owner collection yeah. in Houston. Everything that I bought is second-hand collections because there was an early collecting community in Houston, but I mean, I, I, I can't say never. It is incredibly rare to find original, because in, in 1945, Houston had 100,000 people. You know, it's, it was the fastest growing city through the 60s and 70s. And it's still growing like crazy, but in the '40s, there was nobody there. Yeah. So. Did you ever find any original owner old comics in your neck of the woods? No. I mean, the All Star is the only thing was from the state sale six months ago. I got the All Star from the state sale. Really? Yeah. God. Well, I got a Do tell. Well, oh god, yeah, <laughs> this is nightmares. So, the, a dealer I know in town, smaller dealer, but right. he, he called me and said, you know, I got some. He calls me a lot. It, well, it wasn't the dealer; it was the manager of the store. Which always left me a little bit uneasy because he always called every time I came down to buy a Tales of Stones 27 or Avengers 4, he always asked me for cash. So I was like, I don't know what's going on. It bothered me a little bit because I know the owner also, so I didn't want to get in the middle of some kind of sure, sure. scandal. And scandal. yeah, so he said, Yes, yeah, so I got some books. He said, Why don't you come down? And this time he said, You better bring your wife and a lot of money. <laughs> okay. So I brought my wife. I was seeing the money, money but uh, what about the wife? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> right. We're going to my wife. So, 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 I, I was like, approval. where and where are we going with this? <laughs> <laughs> I went down, and he, he has a stack of Golden Age books. He said he got from an estate sale, and I, or an estate. The, 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 the three, two daughters or three daughters sold him. Now look through there's a bunch of stuff. There's a couple of bondage covers and some jungle stuff. I'm like, okay, you know, a bunch of um, all stars, but not that one. Later ones. Then the very bottom was that one. And I was like, oh, wow, okay. I said, well, how much for this one? He said, 8000 He I looked said, it up in the price guide? He looked or? up in the price guide. Okay. Exactly. Looked up in the price guide. Right. No other no other one way to look it up. And I was like, okay. I said, 8000 is fine. So I paid him 8000 So I'm all well and happy. I think I probably texted everybody. I'm like, look, I got an all-star rate. It's fantastic. So take it home. A week later, he calls me and goes, you kind of have a problem. I'm like, what kind of problem do we have? He said, you sell the book. I'm like, well, yeah, I got the book. He said, uh, she didn't take my offer on the book. What? Well, that's what I said. I said, so what happened is you used me for the money because you didn't have the money to pay the person. So I was like, okay. So we talked about it. It was agonizing. I mean, you know, on my job, a lot of stressful things happen on my job. And I mean, yeah. this is this is different. It, it, it's different because I knew him and I knew the owner. And I had to go down and have a talk and say, look, you can't screw the owner. Don't tell me you took my 8000 Well, on top of that, he said, I said, well, okay, no problem. I said, easy come, easy go. You get the book back. I'll take my money back, get the book back. He says, well, there's more of a problem. I don't have your money. <laughs> what? Well, Why don't you have my money? He said, well, the store got behind and I had to pay off some debts on the store. 
I was like, oh, I hope so you use my money. I'll take this deal over. Yeah. I, I, so I did. I went, I said, look, I said, first of all, I got to know you're not screwing the owner. Right. I can't have you. I know the owner. I've known him for years. He calls me, texts me, asks for right. medical advice. I can't have sure, you sure. do that to him. Right. So then, and second, I said, if we do this and I give her a book back, I get a chance at the book. I said, away from you. So mm -hmm. I need it. So it worked out. She took my offer on the book. Same thing, 8000 No big deal. But then I go back to him and I'm not, I'm now 16 into the book. I'm like, oh, that kind of hurts a little bit, you know. But still worthwhile, I thought. Mm -hmm. So, but he ended up giving me two thousand back, and he gave me three original art covers: two from Bill Sienkiewicz and one from uh, Bob Lagan. So okay. it worked out okay. So it was ultimately, I think it worked out okay. To my probably to my advantage, but it was a little more convoluted and stressful than it should have been. And maybe some more books down the road, potentially. Yes, potentially. That's why I bought some of the other stuff he called me about. Just it was always kind of an investment in the future. So yeah, what a story. Yeah, it was. <laughs> At the time, it wasn't. I, I swear, I lost two nights sleep over it. It was bad. Yeah, it, was, it was bad. Yeah, I am. Yeah. You know, what kind of medicine do you take? ER. I'm in the ER. Wow. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's great. So, yeah, I don't know. What, what's a 3 5 worth in this market? I don't know. A lot more than 16000 I would think it's probably worth more than what I paid for it. I'm hoping. Oh, yeah. I hope. Oh, yeah. I'll be happy you can sell it to me right now. <laughs> we can do a deal right Don't lose any sleep over it. I'll, I'll tell you a story like that that. Uh, I had a, a, a in, right okay. We had Hurricane Ike in Houston in 2008, but right about six months before Hurricane Ike hit, um, we had a guy walk in who was an old time Houston comic collector, and uh, he had stopped collecting in about 1986 and put a bunch of stuff aside. And uh, he was in the oil business and he was doing stuff. And a buddy of his had gone out to San Diego and heard about CGC and uh, told him about it, he was, okay. So he brought a bunch of books in to get graded. And we do yes, CGC sir. submissions. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it's got to be. I'm, in the back, I'm in the back room and uh, this girl, Leanne, that works at the store, uh, she's out front. She goes, Richard, you need to come out and take a look at this. And I go outside and there's a copy of Detective 31 sitting mm. on my counter that is beautiful. <laughs> And, white, uh, so white cover. I, I looked at that. I was like, "Is this real?" <laughs> Look, it, it. I mean, it really looked fake. It was really pretty. So, um, I, I, you know, talking with the guy. He's also got X Men one through ten, and uh, um, I think that Fantasy fifteen, maybe a Hulk one, and um, all the Silver Age stuff has color touch, it was trimmed or restored and stuff, but this book was killer. And um, so he wants to get them CGC graded, and I, you know, what do you wanna, what do you wanna get them graded for? Do you, are you looking to sell them? And uh, it ended up, it, long story short, I ended up buying the book from him. It was a 7-0 white, blue label, so Detective nice. 31, and it was killer, killer beautiful. And uh, I was planning on keeping it, but uh, uh, they paid for a house. I mean, <laughs> they wow. literally paid for a house. Wow. So. wow. Uh, and at the time, I, Mer I had four or five copies, and I was I asked you about it, and you said, well, Mervyn had first shot at X dollars, but this is like I should have pushed it. Oh, no. 2008. Okay. Yeah. It was a while ago. Yeah. But I had, I, so, I had so many copies at the time, but I'd never seen one that pretty. Yeah. And why was it just a set? No, it had a, a it, it crease had a, on the interior cre cover. The cover had been creased. It had a hinged crease that didn't go all the way the length of the cover, but like through uh, Batman's head. Um, and so it and it kind of flopped. It was kind of is kind of a weird thing. So when it laid flat, I mean the colors were beautiful, but the front cover had been folded like it just for whatever reason. But the pages, I mean, it, it was. White, just we it definitely really get the pretty. check mark. Yeah, it was a, uh, it was a, yeah, it was a CB, right. what CBS, whatever. <laughs> so, wow, pretty. That was the, that was the far and away the coolest thing that's ever walked in the store. So, There's one copy of Detective why, 31 that, that hasn't really been graded, well. that would, or maybe two, uh, that would be that way. You know, the Allentown I don't believe has been graded, and the uh, Mile High have not been graded. Um, there is a I don't nine. Think need that one, though. Um, I'm looking right that now. That is graded. Okay. Uh, that um, a guy named what's the guy's name that has a high six grade detective run? Um, uh, the guy that had the nine six 
Amazing Fantasy 15. It's pretty, man. That has a, Eric Roberts. Eric Roberts. Eric, he has a 9-0 Detective 31. 8-0. 8 That's right, 8-0. He has an 8 Detective 31. So he's got the nicest graded one. Sure. And then there are two nice insane. ones that aren't. I love that grade. Right. That's amazing. In fact, I should be getting a... The only 19... The only world's finest in the 50s that I don't have that's 8 or better is 57. I have like a 5-5 five five or something now. That's and impressive. I may get an upgrade from... Richard. Yeah, these today. I mean, I could. I literally sold six of each of these today. So feel free to. You don't want these books. I'll be happy to take them off your hands. These are kind of new. These came out of the same collection. Do you want to sell Very these? fresh. No, not today. Okay. Not today. Yeah, these I sold well. Not in this condition. Oh, wow. Oh, those are really nice. Thank you. I'd, like, I'd like to have them, but that's just me. Is that the old Spence I bought from the collection? You know what? These came out of Virginia. Yeah, was that the yeah. guy from Virginia so I bought it from? Yeah, I think that's yeah. exactly right. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. sells a Tech 40 today? Uh, the lower grade on here? I've got the Tech 40. Do you, those okay. are pretty. Yeah. Those are really pretty. Those are pretty fresh, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, no one calls me some. You didn't get any romance ones, did you? No, the only romance that I have is, is certainly not in grade. But it's not a, the excuse me? It, it's a... <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, that's high grade romance. <laughs> I think I have... Let's see. This is kind of a weirdo. It's not really a romance book, but it's kind of cool. Okay. Venus, what's her Absolutely. name? That's a tough <laughs> issue. Absolutely. Yeah, cool. There was one of these... Was it a seven or an eight? I think there was a seven that was in Burke stuff that went for like a big, big number. Really? Yeah. I'm checking out. The 19 went for like 90 plus or five hours or something. I don't know. So the That's Fantastic pretty. Three, it was what, a nine four? Was it? Mm -hmm. Oh, is that expected? It would you need to come again. Yeah, we all thought 250. A Shazam costume. So I'm staying like my parents are dropping no, off. No, you wanted the nicest costume. Well, yes, <laughs> yes, I did. But so I wanted a Shazam. My grandmother, great sewer. You know, this is the mid '70s. Okay. You there were no VCRs back then. We could not. So I showed her the TV show, and I said, uh, "Mimi, can you make me that costume?" She couldn't capture it enough to do. So there was an old bookstore in Atlanta, right. in the Atlanta old bookstore. We went there, and the only comic they had with Shazam on it was Wiz Twenty Two. It was twenty dollars or something stupid, you know, for nineteen seventy six. It's the first golden age comic, and so my grandmother bought the comic for me so she could make the costume. She made me the costume. I stayed with them, you know, for a month that summer while, you know, my dad and mom did whatever they did. That's awesome. And the thing I remember most about, it, of course, other than my grandmother, and that was one of the things we were very fond of. And that comic we did together was standing on furniture. You know, what grandmother makes their eight ten year old grandson a superhero costume? And then doesn't let me jump from her sewing table onto the bed or whatever. And I still remember to this day climbing up on that sewing table and my sister sitting on the chair playing her Barbies or whatever. And I see her eyes get this big. And a second later, I feel on the back of my leg a sting like I've never felt. I still feel it today. And there's my grandmother Mimi with the broomstick <laughs> whapping the crap out of my legs. You don't jump on furniture. And I've got my Shazam. I mean, she did everything. She You're sewed ready the, to go. She sewed the gold flowers on my white thing. She right. did. She bought right. the braided and was awesome. Eight years old had this. And so Wiz 22. Captain Marvel had a weakness for broomsticks. Yes, no doubt about it. <laughs> so that that's the reason. So that, and when my grandmother got Alzheimer's, and my bridge and I went and saw her before she passed away, 2000, 2001, and she had a moment of lucidity, you know, because she didn't remember us where she remembered, and she says, Rick, I'm sorry for hitting with the broomstick when I made you that Shazam costume. She says it's at eight, 91 years old. In a moment of lucidity, here I am, a 30-whatever-year-old man, wife, kids. Yeah. Sure, and she, for just a brief moment, that was the first thing that came to her mind. And so that book and that whole summer, that's why I buy her. And I've only, I've given away one copy to the kid that I outbid on eBay. I felt bad about 12-year-old kid who bought a Wiz from me at TampaCon, a Wiz 3 or Wiz 5, and I told him again, my love for Wiz 22, and they go, well, would you ever, I said, I don't sell the book, I'm sorry. And so I out, I outbid them on eBay. The next year's dad came back and said, I bet you won that copy I was trying to win for, I forgot what the kid's name was. I said, come back next year. 
12 years old. He's, now he's 14. This is year three. He, and I give he, him, he I gave him that copy. that copy. Did he? Okay. Yeah. Well, I gave, yeah. I gave the kid that copy. Just gave it to us. $500 copy. Who cares? Because I outbid him, and that was the only time I've ever let one out of my grasp. It's not right. <laughs> only one. Have everyone. So that was why Wiz 22 is my book. I get it. I get it. I get it. That's why. Brian, what about you? What's, what's the book that you gravitate towards where you're not conditioned sensitive? Probably Real Life 3. Okay. Yeah, that's a great cover. I've always liked the cover. She's the one that's got me into the Hitler covers. That's her choice on those books. So really? Every time I see that book, I'm, I'm on it. I'm going to try and buy it or trade on it. Absolutely. People love yeah. that. Shit. That's awesome. my, my, favorite, my favorite comic is Great 3. Oh, it's great fantastic. comic. It took me you deep. got me on Great 3. That's Early great. on, the first time I met Steve Fischler was at a San Diego con in probably 1988. And uh, that's the first time I've he ever was he, he, you know, and uh, yeah, three case and laptop. We uh, nerdy kid. We talked, and he asked me what books I was looking for, and a, and a couple of years. This was actually even earlier than that, probably nineteen seventy eight or seventy nine. I had ordered a a great three out of the CBG because somebody had told me how cool it was, and I got I, I bought it for like. 50 bucks or 40 bucks or whatever it was and got it and it had staples all up and down the spine and tape and it was just a mess and it wasn't anything like the grade it was advertised uh, and fortunately the guy gave me my money back but I did get a chance to see it and see how cool it was and read it and, it, and that that book is the coolest book cover to cover that there is um, so anyway um, I mentioned to Steve this is the first time I've met him, you know? He's just this, he's, you know, young guy. I, I was a young guy then. Uh, he was probably, I guess he's about six years younger than me, so he was maybe, maybe 22 or something. And, uh, you know, I looked on a great three. A year later at San Diego, I'm just walking around and I, oh, uh, I got something for you. And it's Steve, and he had a great three for me. He had found it somewhere and kept it, and held it for, and didn't sold call to me you? For didn't. Three, sold it to me for three hundred bucks. Unbelievable. Yeah, and it's beautiful. It's the it's the eight O that I still have. Really? Yeah. And uh, you keep all this stuff forever. It's great. I'm not selling that book. <laughs> it's too freaking cool. Right. So uh, so yeah, that's that's the book. I mean, wow. it's it's awesome. Wow. Awesome, awesome book. I've had a jillion copies of them because I used to buy them to resell them all the time. Every time I'd see one, I'd buy one. But mm -hmm. um, I still. I think the mile high is an 8.0. Is it really? Yeah, I don't. I don't think there's a higher graded uh, grade three. So. Wow. So he was bidding on. There were three Wonder Worlds, in, in that he was bidding on six, on nine, and ten. Six, nine, and ten. And the six comes up, and he bids on it. Well, Andy is bidding on it too, uh. and Andy. Andy bids five thousand. That apparently they thrown bids in. You know, you know, you kind of throw. Andy bid five thousand. Billy bid five thousand and five dollars. <laughs> and he beat him by five dollars. Five bucks. Five freaking dollars. And uh, and so Billy posts it, and you know, I'm waiting for five thousand and five. I said I got a great price. Andy comes that. back and, says, and Andy goes. I'm, I'm in five thousand. I lost it for five dollars. Why? And somebody comes on and goes, "Freaking newbie!" <laughs> it was too perfect. It was perfect. Fantastic book. This is a. Uh, That's it came awesome. Out in late nineteen thirty-nine. So I think it's got this, a lot yeah. potential. No, I would say beautiful book. This is a girl for nine. No show. It's really cool. It's supposed to be the toughest of them all. I have never seen this book in person. If you look it up in the Gerber, it's just a white space. Never seen it in person. It's amazing. Look at that. Catman Cat 13. Oh, There's a surgery out. cover. Surgery surgery right Gerber 9. It's pretty sweet. I've never no ever seen that. That's amazing. This is a uh, MLJ Hitler cover. Really tough one. And I'm not an Archie fan at all, but a lot of people just go nuts over MLJs. <laughs> yeah. And it, it came out um, during the war. I'll show you some yeah. other stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Goodness. Anything you like, just let me know. Okay. And while 
Obviously, you know the same thing. He looks like yeah. the big man plant guy. Does he? <laughs> he's not. He's not a little person, but yeah. Doesn't his face look about like? I mean, that's Eric Powell. Uh huh. <laughs> looks like one of the guys that would come in with a weed charge. I, wait, well, yeah. <laughs> I What's that? probably have seen him outside walking around. Oh, sure does, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's like, oh, can you make my marijuana ticket go away? Uh-huh. That's great. There it is. Wow. That's a heck of a nice book. Thank you. Uh, the 13 and the 15 came from original owner collection. The only problem with them is that they have a little bit of tape, tape on them. them. Yes. So I was going to do signature series on them. Could oh. probably get the tape removed, but Stanley, your son. Yeah, and is he going to be in? Is he going to be in? Is it, he's in Washington this weekend, isn't he? Is he signed anywhere else this yeah, year? I gotta hook up where I send it directly to him. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Oh my God, I'm such an amateur man. Let's you guys talk. I don't even know where I'm at with this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at the last nerdier. That's all. Uh, no, I looked at the last ten years. I think kind of Check I everything wrong in the last ten years. I buy what I want. My profile picture on Facebook. Oh, that's fantastic. Did you see that? <laughs> we went to we had him sign a whole bunch of stuff Those are so and cool. we got I got That's there early I just bought it but they're just cool and he came That's out and started signing yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I just bought a restore copy I just bought a restore copy of that like two months ago it's yeah. fantastic it's I just had to have it I had to totally have it yeah, yeah, yeah. So. That's I love awesome. the 6, 7 and the 8 oh yes and yep. didn't have any water 6, 6, 7 and 8 are so you expected the three to go as high as it did on on that? I thought that was. I was I'm not a big fan. Yeah. So I like Wonder World Seven more. Oh yeah, with, yeah. With the skeleton. Yes, yes, yes. 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 So oh I God, that's an amazing. Oh my God, that's amazing. I have the highest amazing. rated copy of that. And I don't even know why. I just do. But that makes me just as happy. That's fantastic. That's a beautiful copy. Wow. Oh my God, that's fantastic. Like okay. So all day long I sat there. Oh, I've never seen that kind of thing. There's a bathroom one. Is it a Marvel mystery? Is it, thir is it 13? That's right. With yes. The Kirby yes. yes, the Kirby Here's cover. He changed to come yep. back from the bathroom oh, wow. to rub his back again. Blue fine? And then Blue fine also. Uh, he was, I think that's just like, signing. Is it okay? Yeah, that so looks like it. Sure looks like it. Wow. Stan, we gotta get in the car. This is one of my favorite. Oh, just fantastic. It's a phenomenal cover. Such a great cover. gotta get on the plane. No, we're eating dinner and wow. she's coming to dinner with us. <laughs> it was very interesting. No, I didn't eat dinner, but it was just, he was, it was right before I saw that. That's the beautiful. Really oh, I've not well, seen the person. Talk about Jackpot. Jackpot. That's, That's the last on. issue of so, Jackpot. Issue anyway, number 10 became Jolly Jingles. Did it really? Jolly Jingles, yeah. yeah. Came, uh, I never followed uh, Funny Animal title. I've never followed these. Yep. Wow, that's a cool cover. And so he drove home. He got seven more books. Yeah. Oh yeah, it went back and had him signed. Yeah. Oh, what's that? You tell my Stan Lee yeah. story? Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, no. So my, my funny was... Stan Lee story. So we go to. Oh well, I didn't tell about. Oh, those, so we got a wizard. We got a Phantom Fest, which is that little kind. Of, it's a pop culture kind of convention in town. Uh -huh. It's okay. Last year Stan Lee was there, so it was a little more comic related. There was nothing great. There was some, you know, his handlers are kind of. They're dupes. Okay, thank you. Because uh, they, they're like, are they're, yeah, like they were the willing to trade guy. signatures Smelling for books and stuff like sweet, that. I'm like, man, dude, I have like a stack of all silvery stuff. Like, it was not. like a seven O Tales of Astonish twenty seven. Like, what are you gonna give me? Like fifty signatures? But I'm right. like, I don't want that at all. You know, right. you know. Right. So they get back like, oh, we don't think it's degradable. None of this stuff's that good. It's a showcase four. I'm like, okay, I get it. It's not like a nine O, but it's still it's a showcase four. Man, you see them in this place? There's none right here. I'm like, that's fine. That's cool. I don't really want to get the signatures to trade for signatures anyway. So. It, this is Friday and then Saturday I go back and there's like a million people in line for Stan so I'm like ah, Sunday I go back again I'm like I'm gonna get in line so there's no one there it's fantastic I have my cat three that's right. a, what the book I had oh, to get wow. signed by you know wow so, so I did he line. sign the case or did he sign the book oh he signed the book it wasn't wow. great so yeah it was. I got it from I saw you showed me a picture of it yeah I got it from the guy in what's his name again from, I think he's from New York is it, is it Richard? Carbonero no 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 the uh, wild crazy guy no, the guy is real strange. It has his stuff covered with, with uh, plastic all the Richie time. Mucci. Richie yes, Mucci. Yes, yes, yes. Very northern. <laughs> yes, yes, that's it. Very so I got it from him, and he, he puts it on eBay for like, he said, just a little bit of spine reinforcement. So I buy the book right away. You know, I did, it was on eBay for like 10 minutes. I'm like, oh, fantastic. I'm buying this book. I'm all excited to get it in the mail. She goes, what the hell? There's like color touch all over. The whole yellow is painted yellow. Good I'm like, oh. Oh, it is. So I call him. He's like, "Oh, that doesn't matter. It's okay. It doesn't really make <laughs> with that book. It doesn't make wow. any difference." I'm like, "What?" Yes, I'm like, yeah, I'm, not the, I'm not the brightest bulb in the bunch, but it right. seems to make something of a difference. I'm like, 
I got it for three grand. I guess I can't uh, complain okay. too much. I'm like, right. forget it. I'll just keep the book. So, right. but anyway, so I get, I get from Panda Fest. I go back Sunday. No one in line. I'm like, it's fantastic. I'm like third person in line to get Stanley to sign my stuff. Got it windowed and everything. Perfect. You know, so I, nothing Perfect. screwed up. They talked me about doing the silver because it's going to screw up the book. I'm like, whatever. I'll whatever. Just sign up, whatever. Just sign up. Right, right. So I get it signed. I went up there. I mean, he looked so bad. I'm like, you know, I'm like, Skinny, I can't. Free or yeah, I can't. I'm like, as I walk away, I'm like, I got, I, I can't do it. I got seven other books. I'm getting all signed. I got all my Silver Age stuff. So I got, you know, I got, uh, what did I have? I had Incredible Hawk one. I wow. had uh, FF one. Big dog two, stuff. Two X Men sure, ones. Sure. Everything. I had all my Silver Age keys. My Thales were astonished. Everything. So I didn't have time to window anything because I wasn't going to get them signed. I told myself, well, I could spend 700 bucks on those signatures. Right. I'm going to get them graded and be done with it. Right. And so that's 150. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, is it really? I didn't yeah, know that. It was crazy. 100 last year. So I go up and get my seven tickets, drop another 700 bucks, you know. Mm -hmm. So I get in line. And then, you know, I'm waiting, there's one girl in front of me, she gets her stuff signed, and then you're behind the curtain. I'm like, hey, I said, uh, man, is everything okay? Is, is, you know, do I need to, you know, he said, no, he's just gonna take a nap. I said, okay, how long is that gonna take? He said, probably about 20, 25 minutes. I said, that's cool. I said, there's like 200 people down there waiting to get their photo op with him. So, you know, I'm not gonna wait through that to get my book signed, so, you know, it's all cool. And I said, you know, I'm not that worried about it. You can give my 700 bucks, you get your seven mm -hmm. tickets back, and we'll call it a day. No, 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 we'll bring him out here, have him sign your books first. Then go down there and get his photo op. I'm like, okay, that's good. That's, that's cool. That's, I can deal right, with that, right? Right, right? So, you know, they wheel him out. 20 minutes later, I'm hanging out, I'm surfing in, eating that. Right, right. We're straight down there. I'm like, oh, come on. I said, hey, man. I said, I'm not trying to be a jerk. I said, I got to work a shift tonight, right. so I'm not going to be here all day. I said, and there's a boatload of people down there. Right. So, money back. I said, or I can give you my books. I can go to some other things and come back a little later. So, why can't I take that kind of books? I'm like, okay, that's smart. That's probably a good idea. I'm glad right, you agree no with it. Yeah. You. yeah, it's fine. Right. He said, well, let me make a phone call. So he makes a phone call, right? He said, okay, come with me. I'm like, what? So he takes you behind the curtain. They stop the photo op, right? And a buddy of mine's in line, all right? So I get my seven books up there. They stop everybody from getting their photos with Stanley. I'm like, I'm almost a little uncomfortable with this right now. <laughs> so, which I thought, okay, this is kind of cool. That's right. Give you yeah. Oh, I totally did. He yeah. totally did. He's like, wow, right. what a dick move that was. I'm like, what does it mean, man? I didn't do anything. You know? So I get up and I'm thinking, okay, this is pretty cool. I got my own private signing with Stan Lee, right. right? And I realized, oh, yeah, before he was sitting at a table where he could sit and, uh -huh. and do his thing. No, now he's on a photo stool. Oh. And they're like just holding the books in the hand, right? Yeah, and like, oh well, yeah, and I had them in alphabetical order, and the Fantastic Four one was nice down at the bottom. Right, right. And the Hulk was cool, right? The feet of the Hulk right, and everything. Right. Sure, yeah. Sure. By the time we got the tails of Stone, she was like, bam, right in the face of Hank Pym as he's getting drunk in the head. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> then, then there's the X Men, all oh, right across Hank Pym on one, right across Iceman on the other in the face. I'm like, oh, in the face. I'm like, oh, <laughs> wow. That, and what do you say? I'm like, you get through the books, and I'm like, Th th thank you, Mr. Yeah. Lee. Like, right. don't touch him. I'm like, I, I wasn't going to touch the man. I promise right. you. I'm just going to walk away and say thank Somebody you. Somebody said, don't touch him. <laughs> <you. laughs> yeah. like, don't touch me. Don't, don't no breathe. Don't over. touch him. I'm like, oh, okay, man. I don't want the phone break his head. That's how okay. I got my pictures because I had to walk him into the photo yeah. ops. Oh, that's and they awesome. were like, okay, we're going to adjust the, counter, the camera. Do whatever you want to do. And I was like, all right. <laughs> 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 so we ended up getting a bunch of free pictures with Dan. And oh, got, that's uh, great. It was, uh, <laughs> it was really cool. And I got a. 30 signatures in a trade from a, an art guy who was owed money. The guy that owed him money couldn't pay him. So um, gave him these 30 signatures as payment. And then I paid for the 30 signatures that he wasn't going to use anyway. So oh. we got a lot of books signed. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's that's fantastic. fantastic. Kind of a, you know, well, that works out for everybody that way. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Sweet. Mm -hmm. The thing about it that's really kind of funny, too, is that uh, Tom and I always joke whenever you can't really read the Stanley signature. It was at the end of the day, like, you know, five oh. o'clock, don't give a shit. Uh, oh, step yeah. a little, little, little. You know, you, you, it's like, <laughs> damn, what the hell did that say again? Yeah, right. It's exactly. just hilarious. Wow. Yeah. That was fun. That was two years ago. Yeah. This show. yeah. That was here? Two years ago, yeah. Really? The That's the one year we didn't come, wasn't it? We had, I had spent a long time putting the signature boxes in the exact right spot. And we came back and we were unpacking everything and we showed them to Mark Haspel. And he said, Oh, that are, that's not going to work. Oh, it's way too, us. This way is, too small. Because we're rookies. I mean, I don't do signatures. Yeah. Right. Sure. But way too small. Yeah. Yeah. So I spent, <laughs> I spent four hours. 11 o'clock at night. She's got window room. boxes. He's in here well, partying with all of our years. friends. Right. Right. Like, yeah, yeah we're going to talk about comic books. Anna, here's a giant stack. Go sit by yourself and cut windows. Oh, oh, that's awesome. Come on, I tried to miss you. James. James Gallo sat with me. So if this goes nice. anywhere, that's James Gallo sat with me <laughs> yeah, while I cut James. the box. And James is awesome. And then Wally came James in a little bit awesome. later and slept through pizza. 
<laughs> How did you sleep through pizza? Sleep through pizza? Well, when we started, James and I were starving, and all of you people were in here eating snacks and drinking beers and having fun, and James and I are sitting over there, he's watching me cut out boxes, so we decided to order pizza, and Wally said, ooh, I want some pizza, and he came and laid down on his bed, fell asleep, and started snoring, so the pizza guy got there, so James and I put the pizza box on Wally's belly, and we're going over getting a piece of pizza, and he's dead asleep, and I remember he woke up, looked down, and went, there's one piece of pizza left. And then went back to sleep. <laughs> hey, that's the type of shit that happens here in the Western, man. What happens at Hero Station? There you go. Boom, diggity. Uh, yep. Insane. Oh, that's a neat book. That is a great book. It's uh, Everett. Well, that's fantastic. So this is four or five, or what is December it? December four. That's, four. I think okay. that's the best cover in the run. Oh, there's no doubt. I picked up a three a few months ago, and it's, I, it's, it's okay. I just yeah. picked it up because it was, picked, it was okay. Fourth cool. Fourth very cool book. Oh, wow. The, those, it seems like all of the copies are now graded. Mm -hmm. That's just a VG raw copy, is yeah. all that is. Yep. Which is, which is, you know, cool story. I had a good buddy tell me that was a good, good read. The 76? Yeah. Yeah. Flash 8, Flash 9, those are just kind of... Uh, nice Marvel. Yeah. I saw this a post cover. a lot earlier today and told Wally about the $29 exclamation point. There's this thing that you can get for your pet, and it's a collar, and you pay, like, $29 for the thing, and then you have to pay $29 monthly. Well, if you go to Sprint, if you have a Sprint service, you pay one thing at $29, and they give you a tag that you can GPS anywhere on your phone, and it's got a little hole in it, just like this tag, but it, there's no monthly update. So I was like, why in the world would you pay $29 a month for this app that's a special pet app? when you could just buy the thing right. for $29 and never pay for it again. <laughs> so my daughter tagged me in, in one of the, in the pay $29, only $29 a month. And she's like, mom, these are $29 at Sprint. I'm like, yup. Yup. That becomes Hangman after number two, correct? That is an underrated MLG yeah. number one. The interior's great. It's just underappreciated. Is it? Two and has that great old, cover with the Nazis, the, the swastikas. Three. three. Good cover and a better splash. Have you ever seen the splash of three? I've never seen it. Mine's a gravy copy. I've never seen the splash on it. Let me see if I can bring it up for you. You're going to love it. Just once I show it to you, you're going to want to open it. Open the book? Oh, yeah. You know, I think I did open the book. Because it was a, it was had a spine roll, and it was in one of those magazine type uh, cases. And it irritated me. I couldn't put it in a box. I was like, Google, let's see if I can bring it up. I'll have to take a look. I bet I got that at home. Three splash. Pottery uh, oh, major or that. yeah, or photography, but she really loves. How's your work been? Oh, that's awesome. Busy? Can't, yeah, can't complain. It's been good. It's uh, it's been stressful at times, but you know, yeah. just try to leave work at work and uh, get home. Hear that. Get home, and mm -hmm. I know Anna's got a trial coming up, and several actually now. <laughs> or, and we're just trying to stay normal. Yeah. yeah that's it. Not fun when your clients have your cell phone on and you're in heroes and they're like, hey, everything's going wrong. Are y'all practice together or? We work together a lot. Where practice is 